Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to The Fishing Teacher and thanks a lot for swinging by the channel, checking out today's video. And guys, today I'm gonna give you some tips and advice on fishing buzz baits in the month of March because in my opinion, March is probably the best month, the number one month to catch big fish on a buzz bait under the right situation. So I'm gonna sort of, sort of lay out what those conditions are and what to look for and sort of give you guys my opinion on my buzz bait setup here. Also guys, big thank you out there to everybody that's been subscribing to the channel here lately. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, I'd like to invite you to do so. And also anyone interested in booking an on the water lesson with me, just go to my Facebook page, Randy Block at Professional Angler and shoot me a message for info. So much appreciated there. Oh yeah, it's buzzbait fishing in March, man. This is, um, there's a, not a lot of people that fish buzzers in March, but guys, when that water temperature starts to get into the mid to upper 50s, which is usually March, you know, about now for the next few weeks, there's a window of time where you cannot beat a big buzzbait, a big black buzzbait. This is my favorite. This is the Mega Bass Jamaican Boa Buzzer. And also guys, I'll put this buzzbait in the link in my description, my Tackle Warehouse link, if you guys would like to get this buzz bait or order some other buzz baits using that link. Um, it's a good way to help out here. But anyway, the first thing we'll talk about the baits, you need a large buzzer and you need a black buzzer for this time of year. I've experimented with a lot of different colors and sizes and they want a big buzzer. This is the time of year I use the big, like I said, big bladed, like this Jamaican boa. I always put a trailer on it. So this bait right now is probably, dang, probably close to 10 inches long with the trailer on it. And for something about it, when those bigger pre-spawn females move up shallow to be caught on buzzers in March, they want a large size buzzer with that. So this is, that's the number one and most important thing. I usually fish this thing on usually like 40 pound test Seaguar Smackdown braid or 25 pound test Seaguar Invisex fluorocarbon line for the most part. And a lot of times guys, this is a big heavy bait. So I'll throw it on a flipping stick a lot of times. So with the flipping stick, I can pitch it and flip it like in tight spots. And also if I make a long cast, I've got a lot of length and leverage to get a good hex hook set on it. So that's that's my setup with this. And I do like the black skirt with a chartreuse trailer. It seems to work good. I'm not a fan, guys, of the plastic frogs on a buzzer. You see a lot of guys pulling the skirts off and putting some type of a frog on there or some type of a curly leg. I like the old skirt. I think there's more color options. I usually, again, mix it up with a trailer on there. So that's the buzzer setup. Now, the main thing is like where to throw it at and what the conditions are for it. When you're talking about catching fish on buzzers in March before that water temperature gets real warm, you gotta have, a, you gotta have the right perfect storm to come together for it. First thing you have to have is you have to have the right type of day. The right type of day for a buzz bait is you need a south, a southwest wind or a west wind with some type of a stable or falling barometric pressure. Usually some type of a prefrontal day, like right now, I'm looking out there, we've got you know some pretty thick clouds, south wind, this would be a perfect day here in Missouri for it. Um, and you need some type of overcast and warm, some type of a, an average or above average normal day, uh, you know, uh, temperature day that you have out there. So that's the first thing with the conditions. The next thing you have to have the right combination of bank angle, cover, and water clarity. You need to have a little bit off colored water. Uh, most of the time, I like my water visibility to be in that two to three foot range for the buzz bait this time of year. And I like flat banks with some type of cover on it. Now the cover can be shallow grass, it can be rocks, it can be, you know, lay down trees, it could be docks, whatever your lake has in it. You go, but you need to look for those, those banks that are flatter normally the banks that are in spawning type coves. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for these fish to be moving into these areas that they're getting ready to spawn. They're not spawning, they're, they're cruising the areas or moving up into those areas and they're taking advantage of that warm low light day and the fact that the water temperature is getting premium, the right water uh, uh, color, everything with that shallow cover, it puts those fish shallow and it puts them in a feeding mode where they readily hit a buzz bait. There's something about that. So um, that's what I'm looking for. I don't want clear water. I don't want too steep of banks. I'm looking for flat stuff. Most of the time I'm fishing this buzzer about one half to all the way back into the coves, into some type of a spawning cove. Next thing about it, guys, is the way you retrieve the buzzer. One of the things that you're gonna find out about catching them early in the year when that water's on the 50s is you gotta have some type of a slow retrieve. So I usually throw it out there, keep my rod tip high. And the reason I keep my rod tip real high 
is I can, I can have the least amount of line in the water, which allows me to work the bait slower. And just like a, just a slow retrieve like that, maybe like an occasional half turn, but just slow where it's going blah, 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 blah. And pretty much just fast, just fast enough to keep the bait above the water making noise. You don't want to have it any faster. It's like if it starts to drop them below the water, under the water, speed it up a little bit. If you start uh, chirping a little bit too fast, slow it down. You just want it enough to where those blades are turning just out of the water there. And that's usually how those big ones hit it like that. They just come up and sort of suck it in. But anyway, guys, that's the window. Normally, once that, once that water temperature starts to get up above 60, they sort of get off of the buzzer for a little bit until the fish are completely done spawning. And there's, then there's a little bit of a bite window in the post spawn. But again, my favorite time is once you see that water temperature hitting 55, 56, 57, 58 degrees, get you one of these Jamaican bows there from Tackle Warehouse. It's, it catches big ones, I'm telling you guys. You got, it'll be one of your favorite buzzers you've ever used. So hope it helps out. We'll talk later.